welcome to Manhattan, a place where hard work is usually rewarded. Such is the case for the Connecticut Huskies. The long week started Tuesday as UConn knocked off DePaul. And then yesterday, they took care of Georgetown. Today, they face their biggest challenge, the Pittsburgh Panthers, Big East regular season champs who've reached the tournament final seven times in the last 10 years. Championship week is presented by Dick Sporting Goods as we welcome you to the Big East Championship presented by American Eagle Outfitters. UConn has been on the court at Madison Square Garden twice this week. Pitt takes the hardwood for the first time. And the Panthers are 0-2 at the Big East Tournament when they've had the double box. How about Kemba Walker for Connecticut in the tournament he's had so far? Doris, he had struggled at Madison Square Garden. He's a New York City guy. But the last two games, he's been great. A special year for a special personality. This guy has proven capable of getting from through tough moments. And when you're surrounded by youth, you need a veteran leader who can do that. If you make a mistake in your coverage, he's going to mix his speed. His mid-range is sensational. You don't close the gap on a trap, he will split it and make you look foolish. His handle is tight. He can get to the rim easily. He's shown a propensity to score over bigger defenders and play through contact. Special year for a special young man. Wanamaker has the matchup early on Kemba. This will be fun. Walker, 26 points against DePaul, 28 yesterday, and he's shooting about 50% from the field. And that is a two. He has not hit a three yet in the tournament. Knocks down the long jumper there. Their shoulders, they felt that they were snubbed in terms of the awards postseason. Yes, uh, Wanamaker is the basket is good by Coons McDaniel. Wanamaker coaching job and has done a wonderful job. But by the way, guys like Tom Izzo and Jim Bayham are good role models. Well, he does have two assists. Ball in his hands against the taller defender. He'll take it down the lane and finish beautifully with the left hand. How about those four freshmen right now out there for Jim Calhoun? Here's Walker. You somewhere, and it took him by two white jerseys. I thought it was the right call. In scoring, led the league in minutes, and against. The six top ten teams that UConn played this year, he averaged almost third. It's open, he shoots it. Walker to Olander, and boy, that'll help if he's hitting those jumpers. Average just one point per game during the to get it back. Find Wanamaker, his long two, not there. Here's Coombs McDaniel inside, count it, and a foul. Love it. This is, if you think back to the losses Pittsburgh had against Tennessee. Wayne Gretzky behind the goal in hockey. Make the play from behind the rim. Set. I want them to be competitive enough in spirit that they're bothered by not playing. Yeah. Have their decision to want to stay or go. Well, if you go to Pittsburgh, you know you know you're going to a, t a true program. The NCAA tournament. And I also think it's even harder to go 15 and 3 in a regular season than it is to win the NCAA tournament. The regular season champion, the coach. We've never been in Times Square before. We just want to spend another night in New York City. Play hard. They practice and play hard. Would you agree? Absolutely. As hard as anybody yeah. you'll see during the year. Maybe you know there are teams that play as hard, but. Kemba Walker with 10, Gibbs with 16, the two leading scorers as Pitt turns it over. Here's Walker, so good in transition, and there he goes again. It's a two-point game. Comes to Wanamaker. He lost the ball. Here's Walker. Swatted away, but a foul with six seconds left. Wanamaker picking up his second foul. Kimba Walker missed the first. UConn has it. Walker again breaking down the defense. What a spectacular move to the goal and a foul. Yesterday I kept talking about how many tough twos Kemba Walker makes and in that first half he had 13 points and four assists so he was involved in virtually all of the scoring. There's a lot of white jerseys. This is a special shot by a special talent friend. Instead of getting his full body on Walker he just got a hand in there and Walker went through a hard oriented high school program. It's very important for a really good high school player to learn how to play without the ball and he does. Oriaki back on the floor with three fouls. He gets to this every drill, building habits, defensively, offensively, consistency of effort. Lamb inside, count it, and a foul on Pittsburgh. Backdoor pass, Walker, blow by in basket. Great. 
is out until perhaps the NCAA tournament. And a broken right thumb. Three-pointer good by Napier. One-point game. Play right, Doris. Walker going right back at Wanamaker. Kemba Walker gets the bounce. Connecticut by two. Here's Walker again. Short. Walker got the offensive rebound. Stick back is there. But well, when you grow up on the playgrounds of the Bronx, there's nothing about jump shooting. The wind's blowing. There's no nets on the rim. You got to operate around the basket. And the littlest guy on the floor today has done that. More about toughness than it is even his great speed and quickness. Played so well in the tournament. Remember, coming into this tournament, he was shooting about 23% from the field. In games here at Madison Square Garden, he's from the Bronx, so you know he wanted to turn that around, that he has. Baker with 10 seconds to go. Coombs McDaniel on the screen. Walker with seven. Got a mismatch. Walker on McGee with four. Kemba Walker. Step back. You're a New York guy. How many times have you hit that shot in your childhood growing up in this area and now getting a chance to do it on the big stage? Um, you know, growing up, I wasn't really much of a big scorer. I was much of a, I was really a defensive player, but, you know, I'm one of the more experienced guys in this team, and, you know, everybody in the world know that I'm going to take that shot, and, you know, my teammates count on me, and you know, I just wanted to make the big shot for my team. You know, we were talking to your mother earlier. She told us you used to be a hip-hop dancer. You've performed on one of the other big stages here in New York, up in Harlem, the Apollo Theater. How does this match up an opportunity to win a game for your ball club here at Madison Square Garden? Man, this, this is probably the biggest thing ever. Um, biggest tournament, you know, one of the best leagues in the country. And to hit a game winner, you know, against one of the you know, best teams in our, in our league is it's a special moment. What was it like for you, and how did you keep your composure when you saw that it was McGee on you on the switch? Well, you know, I knew I knew I could um, use my quickness on him. And, you know, I wanted the clock to go down so I get the last the last shot. Um, you know, that's what I did. You know, I was able to break him down and, you know, get a clean look at the rim. How would you describe the play once again today of the freshmen in their first postseason, Napier and Lamb, continually making big plays for you? Man, it was... Those two guys were special tonight. Um, you know, it was times where I struggled. I couldn't, I couldn't score. They, they, they were playing me extremely hard, and those two guys just stepped up and you know, made a big play for this team. Congratulations. Thank you. Dave.